back in the kingdom of Morn. Look at that for a day. So you got there. Got some snow. I ain't coming up here for a few days. We've got, got Paul. You seen him up there in the last morning's video with me. So we're gonna go up and do a, a nice snowy camp and uh, just go a bit further. We're not gonna go up into the usual spot. So it'll be somewhere different. You've seen me up there before, but not not in these conditions. So it should be nice up there. I and mean, we maybe get a wee cold uh, dip in the pool. So we'll do a bit of waffle and we're going up. But I'm not gonna keep showing you this area over and over again. But it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, you see something they always say when you're walking in cold weather, like I see here in the snow and all. You think you don't sweat and stuff, but you do sweat. And I'm telling you, when you wear a layer system, take layers off, don't sweat. Because when you stop and that wet's close to your skin, you know, there's a chance when you're sitting about, that fucking stuff will freeze to you and it'll cool you down really quick. It's very dangerous. So, layer system and strip layers of warm you get. And stay hydrated. You'll fucking dehydrate in this weather too. Just as fast as the heat. Now that's the day, Paul, isn't it? Brilliant. Class, isn't it? Camping season. Yeah. Me and this man has a, a plan here. We'll, we'll maybe tell you about it in a while. Or we'll get a wee bit more of this white stuff, eh? Proper stuff. Bit of crazy stuff. Scramble now down the side of this, uh, sort of the back of Lamagan, uh, and down by Ben Crum. Fucking cold up here, Paul, isn't it? My hands are Baltic. Fresh one. Happy days, that's us at a re camp. I've had one here before, so I have. Not bad, is it? That's some fucking main thing, and we boys destroy you. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Welcome to heaven. Northern Ireland's finest. Home. Hey, folks, that's home set up for the night. It's gonna be cold, so. As soon as we stop walking, remember, we're really, really warm from the walking. What I've done is got my layers on, uh, got my thermals on, nice stuff to keep around the neck, hats well on, fleeces, all layered up, different layers, and then if we get too hot, I can just take one layer off. I was just telling you, don't sweat up here, especially when it's like this. Uh, sleeping bag out again, you know, it's a military Arctic sleeping bag, heavy bag, got my tri Nordic, we are our mat. And then my, my kit mat just insulating it. Cozy in here, nice enough. Could be about minus two, maybe. So we've got snow out there. So get a brew on. And we'll get out. We'll get a yarn with Paul. To be honest with you. Uh, so, I'd just like to say a big thanks to, to Colin, who sent me. I, I'm not sure, no, I didn't show it on YouTube, but sent me. New Arctic sleeping bag, uh, 
I got an odd bargain off another guy so I could hump this stuff about. Colin also sent me the, the extreme cold weather mittens. And yeah, I know it's all ex military stuff and stuff here I'm using, but it's a cheaper sort of stuff and it will hold out against some of the best really expensive mountain equipment. Because uh, some of you people maybe go on there, one you know, them big pages there for hiking and mountaineering and and you'll see all these guys in expensive kit camps at fucking seven hundred pound. You don't, you don't, you don't need it if if you, if if you can afford it, then fine. But you don't need the best of the best gear. What you need is a bit of knowledge, which you can learn at home. You can learn it on YouTube. You can learn it in books, and then come out here and put it into practice and slowly build it up. But stuff like this, it's a godsend. It's cheap. And it works 100%. Remember, if it's good enough for the forces, it's good enough for us. And, and that's why I use a lot of it. Some of the kit I'm familiar with, but so what? Uh, um, it works for me. So, we're at Ben Crumb Reservoir now. Let's see if we can get that man. He's down doing his dishes there. I might be taking a wee walk up and through this. Some nice camping spots up in here. And Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's rubbish here. If you ever come down here and you see rubbish, it's not us. There's been rubbish here. It's not us. And up in there beside near where my tent is, there's rubbish. There's remains and messes of fires. Absolutely nothing to do with us. So. Just in case you come down here after we've been here and think dirty bastards. We're not. Anyway, no dancing. You get your wee pot washed. <laughs> Taking you just a wee quick nap up here to get a wee quick look at the waterfalls up here. Scrambling match up there, huh? What all way would you have it? Yeah. We hot whiskey, you buy, eh? Dura superstition. Ah. Cheers. When you see the front of the tent, snow teams to extremely heavy rain. <laughs> And I'm not taking my tent down the door, plain and simple. I'm just I'm waiting for the new I come up here and enjoy this, so I'm not ripping this place up in, in the dark and losing kit. There's no need to, I've had years of doing that many years ago, and uh, <laughs> I don't need to be doing it now. So, I smell a bit smoky too from that fire last night. I don't like it, it's fucking around stinking. But anyway. <laughs> Moaning over, get my coffee drank. Hey right, guys, I'm not sure if you can actually see this just yet. No, you can't. Total washout down in there. Sleep burner up there. Burner. Ben Crumb up to Sleep Binion, that's one of the tours. Up there, Sleep Lamagan. Follow that river up, just brings you into the saddle between Sleep Lamagan and Cove Mountain. And just up here, then we'll have the Brandy Path, and here we'll have Paul. This fucker's an early bird. Just telling these folks, Paul, you're a fucking early bird. <laughs> uh, got a brew on here. 
a wash out there anyway. Right guys, also it's ready to move out. Uh, in this we camp at the top end of Ben and Crumb. Seeing heavy rain, gotta be careful. At, uh, you get a lot of water in here, so just be careful you're down here camping. Up and around here too. <coughs> so all mushy. Yeah. Uh, obviously there's been fires and all around here, nothing to do with us. And the uh, there was some rubbish around here. It wasn't ours, I've picked up a tiny bit of it. I've tucked some of it home, I can't take it all. I've tucked a wee bit, there wasn't much, but I've tucked a wee bit, so I've done my bit. Again, this, this is a, uh, it's just a wee hike up here and a nice wee camp. It's a nice spot and you're nicely in the heart of the morn, so it's pretty good. I think we're going to get more heavy rain and strong southwest winds. All the snow's away. So some of you guys, my mates, my friends, if you want to start coming out here and doing maybe two and three nights out in the wilderness, out in the morns, camping, hiking it, roughing it, and doing good hikes through the day at different locations, give me a shout. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to get warmed up and go. <laughs> nice wee track down the, the side of the, the reservoir again, just warming ourselves up, Paul, eh? <laughs> warming ourselves up that cunt. <sighs> she'll, be, she'll be tighter. Old Ben Crumb looking as mean as ever. Just like that, we're up. <laughs> Over a bit, Paul. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Oh, my God. Oh, who bought a bush tucker, man? Hey, guys, that's another one finished. Just one camp. Not bad. Not bad, your one. And you're a bit dusty, but it's not bad, hell. Ah, we got her, but no snow, the ground's fucking saturated now, the wind, water. If you walk beside, it's getting windy. No. We'll head back to the car. Still some more. Down in here, there's a few good camps left, so maybe next time, who knows. <laughs> <laughs>